I remember feeling this way when Michael was in his prime, and then you go back and you watch a documentary like The Last Dance and realize even that which felt interminable. If you were a basketball fan like I was in the 90s, it felt like as long as Michael was playing, they were going to be in the NBA Finals and win. It felt like it would never end. It is fleeting. It is temporary. Everything does end in sports. And, you know, like the Patriots are not going to go back to the Super Bowl for a while now. They're, they're nice. They're good. Cam Newton's good. They're, they're not They're not getting through the AFC playoffs this year. They're not winning Super Bowls. Like, it is fleeting. It is temporary. Everything that feels like it's permanent is temporary. And so LeBron being in the NBA Finals tonight, to me, if you're just a sports fan, you just enjoy it. And I know there's a lot of people that kind of strangely dislike LeBron for whatever reason. You have your own reasons, fine. But it's it's kind of bizarre to me to dislike him because you're just watching one of the greatest ever to do it. And it's not going to be there forever. This could absolutely be the last... The last dance, if you will, for LeBron being in the NBA Finals. It feels like it's inevitable that he always goes. It feels like he'll always be there, but he he won't. He won't. So tonight, they'll tip off Game 1 NBA Finals. It won't be regular, normal. It's going to not be at the Staples Center. It's going to be at an arena in Orlando in a neutral site without fans. So it's not going to feel necessarily the same, but... It's for everything. It's for a title. It's for a championship. It's for a ring. And it's just not always going to be there. You know, I, I, not to get morbid, but this is like, you know, when you're around your parents or your grandparents, you just think that they'll live forever. They won't. You know, you, you just don't know when things end. You don't know your jobs and your lives and your family and, and things that change and move on. You know, when you're in college, you think that you'll be there forever. And then you look back and you go like, wow. I was only there for four years. It felt like so long, but I was there for four years and that's it. You know, you have these moments, you're dating a certain person or you're married to a certain person. You think it's going to be forever and it's just not. In the sports world, things like Brady being in every Super Bowl, LeBron being in every NBA Finals feels like it will go on forever and it doesn't. 